Okay, so this looks like an abandoned silo over here and they got like a temporary Mexican stand over there. Lots of tables. They must get a lot of people interested in sitting around an old, an old silo. All right, so apparently I've reached a dead end here. It's a nice, oh, oh. this this uh, trampoline actually looks kind of abandoned. It's messed up and ready to fall apart, but it's not really designated in anybody's yard. Oh my God, I think I might like to sneak over and jump on it. That's awesome. Nice overview of the city with all these power lines. That's incredible. Um. They reach everywhere. Tentacles spread across the city. You can see the rooftops pretty good. A little bit of a fence here. I can't see my car. It'd be down there in the library somewhere. It's in relation to this train bridge. And that, yeah, next to the Star Tribune. Or the Tribune.com. Something Tribune. I could probably sneak across on foot through this apartment complex. All right, it's such a drop. From here you can see the 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 sea for Clarkston. And then the L for Lewiston. Uh, representing two different cities they might be like a mile they might be like a mile apart oh I can't see where he's There it is. All right, they're, they're hidden behind some trees there. That's too bad. I really don't have anything to focus on. Just think it's all neat. The view from up here. Office of Civil Rights. Do they have some problems? Right, I can't tell if these are sheep or cattle. Mmm. Probably be. Mmm. Cattle. That little bird does not like that hawk. Get this skunk close up. Oh, jeez. Playing loud Mexican music, selling tacos, burritos, tortas, quesadillas. This is Merry Christmas from EMSI. Oh, they never take this the light pattern down. It's really pretty out here. Man, I can't see him. There he is. He's doing some daredevil acts. <clears throat> 
this modern art interpretation of, of antique or vintage homes. They're tall. They got that kind of uh, remnant of the old style 1800s colonial Victorian. Alright, so I stopped at this food bank and got some things. I turned down all the sugary things. And there's a lot of those choices. Oh man. Alright, so I, I took the salad, but it's all kale. A lot of this stuff I'm just not too thrilled about. Celery. That'd go good with a peanut butter if I had it. Uh, these aren't bad. I think I'll eat these at least maybe right away. Some kind of a dill, dill peanut. What else in here? I accepted the potatoes. Oh yeah, I want to eat this right away. Freshness guaranteed when it's in the store. All right. Oh yeah, I, cho I asked for this, but I turned down the dehydrated milk. They're probably scratching their head about that one. Uh, potatoes. Oh yeah, and then the. Oh man, these are the bad ones. All right, the sun-dried tomatoes. But they're soft. When they're dried, they're not supposed to be soft. So that's that's not exactly an exciting proposition. Overall, there's an ex extremely long wait for uh, maybe average, which you averagely get. This university is surrounded by farm. All kinds, they're learning agriculture and animals. Actually, it says Vandal Meats. So they're, they're slaughtering these things. I just don't get how these are so soft and moist when they're called sun-dried tomatoes. And the only extra ingredient added was sulfur dioxide. What, maybe they added extra sulfur dioxide? Either way, that probably wasn't needed. Alright, because I've had dry, cracked ones that crack. But these do not crack. So I don't know how best to improve the consumption of them beyond trying to crush them and see if I can make a paste. Alright, so this library is only like a block away from the library. And I can park next to the library with no problems. So I think I'll come down and, and make use of it. Is there a light switch? Not much of a light switch. So I guess this is not the bathroom. Typical, typical laundromat. Don't offer the bathroom. Alright, does the university have its own water tower? Because this is Moscow, this should have an M. Otherwise, either that or they just take so much pride in the college. me a little angry watching those kids eat all my cherries. They even have a big bucket. I think they're gonna take them all. <sighs> I just gotta get over myself though. It's kids, you know. Alright, so all I need to do is change out one sock. Throw this one away, because this one's still good. Keep wearing that and just change it out with if this thing's any good. All right, so this is a horse club and museum, and it doesn't look like there's anybody here. All right, and just outside of Moscow, you see the "Welcome to Washington" sign. So Moscow is right on the border. at the Headquarters Salon. Alright, 
All right, so actually it's down one more block. Why it didn't dawn on me? There was a sign that said no no farmers market parking, and I'm like, oh, there's going to be a farmers market in this parking lot, and then I come back later and I'm like, whoa, wait a second, they don't want. They say no farmers market parking, and now I see it. It's downtown here. I don't know why I was thinking I was back in the parking lot. Check this out. Some fool left their phone right here. The Washington Post. Danny just finished taking a bath, so yeah, I'm okay. iPhone not backed up with AT&T. I was thinking about keeping it, <laughs> but I turned it in. All right, so this these doors go to the, the horse club, and maybe these doors over here go to the museum. <sighs> yeah, live exhibit now open. But I expect something outside, out, outdoors, in back. Yeah, this is it's leather. And yeah, they're both. They gotta have hours somewhere. Haynes Thompson room. Crossing the street on my bicycle, moving kind of fast. And I don't think the bug had enough time to like swerve out of my way. So we collided with each other and it got in my eye. It was a big one too. I don't even know what it was though because I got so disoriented. It hit me in the right spot. I think there's supposed to be a, mark, uh, a homeless shelter marked on Google Maps for Van Buren and E Street. It's not, I mean, a lot of times they don't put a big sign up saying that they're a homeless shelter. I have to relook at the map. But looking around, I mean, I got a pretty good idea of what the place is like around here. Okay, so they're open tomorrow? Jeez. Uh, so that's probably out and back. Gosh, I don't know if it's worth sticking around till tomorrow. At this uh, laundromat, this person put a bar. Look at this. Have you seen? Some kind of a bar to attach them. Reminds me a little bit of, of uh, South Korea out here with these ditches and diggings and stuff. Even in the 90s, the South Koreans were still getting over the war with their open ditches. I have been known to step in some dog poo. All right, just taking a peek behind. I got a big old fence to prevent you from getting in. And there's some signs to read. All right, so here's the. Uh, Whitman County welcome sign on the other side of all that wheat. All right, this is the first Walmart where I've ever seen the alcohol right in the entrance area. They always put it in back usually. This is near the college. Did the college have influence? All right, just looking around, I'm near the Walmart and then this is an Applebee's. Walmart's over there. Coming up on Goodwill, see what's in there. La Quita, a horse. All right, looks like I'm standing right on the line. You got Welcome to Washington, and then Welcome to Idaho over here. Right on the line. This business is right on the line. What's that say, pea lentil? So these are the experimental cows. They stick their hand in those vet and their stomachs. Man, what a horror. They seem to be doing okay. There's there's three, all three of these. 
have that hole in their their stomach and yeah Go Vandals! This is the Kibbe Stadium. My purview was purloined. Alright. The Kitty Stadium. Pay to park. It says it on every post. playing on a field. These tubes for it almost looks like it's for a musical instrument of some kind. Nope. Different colors, different size. Maybe it's just artistic. On a Sunday evening, there's nobody. But this, you know, gets packed. Integrated research. around here the seeds uh, the seed the grasses are a little more competitive and there's a sticker type of seeds instead of the poker All right I think this is interesting st. st. Mary's or something it's a school it's a pretty nice fence all right I got the strainer that can take a, an abuse from here I've never seen one before Okay.
lady loves her husband Stephen Jones <laughs> food research Kelly electrical posts are very much in style with Aberdeen, Washington. Every so often I'll come across that style. I don't know who chooses, how they choose for that to be the best style for their, their system. 
Walmart so busy that the guy at the people greeter guy is spinning around and greeting and, and then uh, not greeting and uh, exiting whatever that is. This little house that's called the Islamic Center of Moscow. This area has a lot of cherries. I thought the kids were gonna grab them all. They didn't. They left quite a few of these. I can't believe I paid five dollars a pound for these cherries. I didn't even know about this tree. Mmm. These are slightly different than the ones I got that I paid for I paid five dollars a pound it can't take too long to, to fill a pound it's almost extra and uh, refreshing to to like get in the mindset of like having to you thinking that you have to check if you have any warrants for your arrest every day because then you could after you <laughs> go stop at the police station and they tell you that no, you don't have any warrants, then you could you could go through the day thinking that you're a free man, right? All right, I got bit in the eye right around here. Some bug just flew in there and bit me hard. That might swell up soon enough. <sighs> All right, so I splurged a little bit. So I got a little pen light so it can read at night. It's only got three lumens. I don't want a lot of lumens for reading. My biggest challenge with these flashlights is how to hold them though, because that's annoying. Uh, not, I, I want to be able to read and comfortably have the light on the page at night. I also got some chair tips too. I think they're 33 cents. No, no, no. They got to be more because I actually paid over five dollars and it was like three dollars for the light so the chair tips oh they're a dollar okay and the reason I got these chair tips is because they fit on my stick I try I tried them on so I can get rid of this rubber tube now and just use the chair the chair rubber and then once again I got this I forget how much I paid for it two dollars very heavy duty. I don't think this handle will last. I want to put this to the test though. Squeezing apples, squeezing oranges, squeezing berries in general for just the juice. All right, now the, the only seeds. And they're not easy, they don't come off easy. It's like when I tried to remove it, I guess I pushed down on the needle because it, it didn't want to leave right away. It flew right into my eye and then stuck there and I had to try to force it out and I pushed its needle into my eye. I'm gonna try to get to the, the Walmart from the mall here. Going through all this, whoa. Geez, this is some really tall, tall weeds. I didn't realize how tall they were. Maybe it's not an option. Who keeps a tow like this and a crane like this in the back of their car or truck? They had to fasten something there. Uh, make makeshift per personal personal use. Like this law office is out of business. It looks nice inside though. That's weird. 